for, for your club to respond to uh, Thursday night, the loss of Marion Gabrick, their burst in the second period. Did you like the way, the response you got to all of those things? And uh, you really have to credit the guys that, that, that finished the game. Uh, it, was a, it was a gutsy win for a lot of reasons. I, I, you go back to Thursday night's game and how we, how we lost that game. The momentum shift in the second when they scored those two quick goals as the period ended. Um, obviously missing guys, uh, you know, two, two key elements of our team and wingers. So you're playing shorthanded. Uh, you know, we gave them five power plays and to still come out and, and battle. And I, I, a real, real important shift was the first shift of the third period by Dubinsky's line. They went out and to, to me, they went right after him in, in the period, and to me, that for that was rest for the rest of our group. It kind of sent a message of, you know, it's okay to play. Here we go. So I thought that was a a really key moment, key point for us in the game. What was the second intermission like? Uh, when I went into the locker room, it was pretty quiet. We talked about some things that that we wanted to do in the period. We talked about going out and playing, and I remember walking out of the room, and I made a comment once I got back to the to our coaches area that, well, that was I was quiet, and I was expecting a little bit more energy, and I, so I wasn't sure what we were going to get uh, in the third period or the start of the third. But uh, Dubinsky's line kind of set the table for us. You had scoring from pretty much all up and down the lines tonight, but also some solid goaltending from from McElhenney. Were you happy with the way both defensemen and forwards were playing in front of him tonight? You know, we weren't perfect. We, we, there were some mistakes. They're a good team. Um, Curtis made some great saves, timely saves. I'm not, I'm not sure what the score was. I don't know if it was 3-2 that we were up. Um, and I guess it was similar to the second period because Curtis made one great save down at our end of the ice. It looked like an empty net. And he reached out with his glove and looked like he got a piece of the puck and kept it out of the net. And we ended up going down the down the ice and scoring. So it was similar to the second period when Dubinsky put it off the crossbar, and ten seconds later the puck was in our net. Uh, Curtis played very well, and uh, so he, he he responded. He responded. Todd, I asked a player in the dressing room what the difference was between Thursday night and tonight. He said, "When checkers check and shooters shoot, we're okay." Is it as simple as guys just doing their jobs uh, to des describe your success? It's. It's exactly it. I mean, it, you know, we know our systems, execute your systems, and, and whatever situation is, whatever's dictated, you know, you need to you need to perform it. And, you know, that's where the trust factor comes in and doing your job, knowing that your teammate's going to do his job. Uh, we were better tonight than we were Thursday night in our systems. Uh, but still lots of room for improvement. You know, you watch the game and there were times we were still sloppy, a little bit undisciplined as far as executing our systems. We were much better than Thursday, um, but we have to get better at that. Just some initial thoughts on the loss of Gabrick. It seems like it could be an extended period of time. Just your thoughts of the coach and just as a fan of hockey. Well, it's, uh, you know, you feel for him. Obviously, it's a, it's a big hole for our team. Um, you know, but you, you really feel for him. He worked hard to get back. He was excited to play. I thought his his game up to when he got hurt was was good. It looked like he had a step. He was energized, you know. That and that's what we need. That's what we need from him. But that's what we need for our team is that 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 element of that deadly element of scoring that threat. So you, you saw the play, and you know you score on the play, so you're looking at a lot of different things. But you could tell, you know, initially when he was getting up off the ice that something was wrong. You know, and then the other thing is, you know, if this is a, a lengthy injury, you know, there's, there's other things that he's missing too. Not only playing here as a Columbus Blue Jacket, but, you know, he may end up missing, missing the Olympics. So there's, it's, a, it's real disappointing for our team, you know, losing that, and you, you, you feel for Marion. You have an update on Matt Calvert. It looked like he might have had his arm in a yeah, sling yeah, there. Yeah, uh, upper body injury, and he'll get reevaluated tomorrow. The building tonight, did you did you sense it was a little different maybe than it's been in recent weeks? It seems like it was buzzing pretty good. Was, yeah, it, was the, it fun the, to coach in that atmosphere? It, well, it is. It is. You can tell. 
you know, the games versus Winnipeg and a Monday night compared to a Saturday night. And I think the opposition, you know, no disrespect to Winnipeg, but it's, you know, one of the original six and Philadelphia Flyers. And, and you know, I, w I was surprised how many Flyer jerseys I saw in the stands. And I think that helped create that, that environment. It's no different with Toronto or Detroit or Chicago when they come in, Pittsburgh. Uh, there's a little bit more buzz in the air. So it, it was a good environment in there tonight. You went down two, two forwards again. Um, did you feel like your team played a smart game in response to that? You do have to play a smart game when that happens. Uh, you have to manage it a lot better, which means you got to play smart. And we did. And Nick Foligno was in the box for, for seven minutes too. So you're... You know, you're, we we were shorthanded up front for a good part of the a good part of the game, and that's why I said it was a gutsy it was a gutsy win by the guys in the room, because Philadelphia is a good team, a confident team. They got you know some some good elements up front, and the systems that they play, they play hard. And uh, you know, I thought our guys responded really well under under the circumstances.